Good morning, my friend, and welcome to chapter 92 of Psalm as we continue to spend summer in the Psalms. I don't know about you, but as we kind of make the turn to the back nine of 2020, uh, I know that I continue strive daily to finish strong, but I'm looking with expectation of things changing this back nine of 2020 with very challenging front nine. Probably one of the hardest front nines of any year that each and every one of us um, had to play. Uh, it's still challenging in many ways, but uh, just praying that God opens things up uh, into this rest of this second half of the year and that we can put some of this behind us as we move forward. All right, what verse rose up for you? Today, chapter 92, verse four for me. Here we go. For you make me glad by your deeds, Lord. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. That's my G as we get a grip on God's word. Now here's my R, here's my reveal. It is truly amazing to see what the Lord is doing in and through the In His Grip ministry. From healing broken marriages to breaking the chains of drugs and alcohol, to God be the glory. I, my implementation is each day I can sing of the new sunrise and the sunset. And for that one person that God brings along our path that we can encourage in their faith journey. My prayer back to the Lord is, Lord, I have praise on my lips for all that you are doing in and around me. May your name be highly exalted in all that I do, in all that I say. Guys, I would love to hear uh, your stories Feel free to send me, um, hey Scott, ever since I've jumped into the 30-30 challenge in January, or ever since I've jumped in the last um, few weeks with the Psalms, or wherever you're at kind of in your journey within his grip, I would love to hear your testimony, uh, what it has meant to you, what getting a daily grip on God's word has meant to your life. Uh, maybe being a part of a community for the first time of other guys, a uh, community of faith, doing life together, doing this challenge together. Uh, would really love to hear um, your stories throughout that. Okay, so please just email back uh, what those are and we'll start uh, collecting some of these stories and it'll be very much an encouragement for other guys to hear what God's doing in and through your life. Uh, one guy just reached out to me yesterday and said, Hey, Scott, I'm getting plugged in with the guys from Oklahoma, but I really want to bring, you know, in his grip and helping guys get a grip on the word to Wichita. And so things like that have just continue to unfold. And the easiest way for me to look at it is, and remind myself is that ministry is not mine. Uh, it's God's. And I'm just praying for that wisdom, the discernment, to shepherd it well wherever God wants to take it. So please pray uh, for that wisdom that, that we um, steward his ministry to the utmost. All right, let's bow in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you again that we can come together, open up your word, dive in, and wait for that one verse to just jump off the page that we can get a grip on. Lord, continue to guide us, continue to direct us. Lord, build a community not only here in Nashville, but throughout the state of Tennessee, throughout the region, Lord, throughout the nation, Lord, throughout the world, God, wherever you want to take it, Lord, you, you tell us to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God, use in his grip for your glory, and we look with great expectations of what you're going to do in and through it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, bless you guys. Have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you uh, first thing in the morning.